Hello, thank you for watching the 2019-20 academic advising video for Colgan High School. Counselors are excited to meet with students to discuss advising for the upcoming school year. During the video, we will be reviewing graduation requirements, including courses and SOLs needed, as well as discussing the process for academic advising, talking about how to see the course catalog, how to view teacher recommendations, select your classes, and finalize your course selections with your counselor. In the state of Virginia, there are two types of diplomas, the advanced studies and the standard diploma. Graduation requirements vary based on the entry date into ninth grade. These requirements are for students who entered ninth grade in the fall of 2016 and fall of 2017. For the advanced studies diploma, you will need at least 26 credits. You will need four credits in each of the core subject areas, English, math, science, and social studies. Two credits in health and PE, one credit in economics and personal finance, and three credits of a world language. You may also take two years of two world languages, such as two years of Spanish and two years of French, though most colleges want you to have three years of one language. You will also need one fine art or CTE class, such as tech ed, facts, music, art, and business classes. For the standard diploma, you will need a minimum of 22 credits with four credits in English, three in math, science, and social studies. Two credits in health and PE and world language is not required. You will need two of your total credits in either fine arts, CTE, or world language, and one of the two needs to be in fine arts or CTE. Students earning the standard diploma will also need one credit in economics and personal finance. Standard diploma students will need two of their electives to also be sequential, such as Art 1 and Art 2, or CIS and Advanced CIS. Students on the standard diploma will need to pass a CTE credential through an exam offered in Economics and Personal Finance, or CTE course. Both diplomas require virtual experience, which is embedded in the Economics and Personal Finance course taught in Prince William County. And both diplomas require students to achieve the CPR requirement that is given through your Health and PE class in Prince William County. Students also need to earn SOLs for graduation. There are 11 SOLs given at the high school level. The Advanced Studies Diploma needs a total of nine SOLs passed with two each in English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. One additional SOL must be earned. For the Standard Diploma, students need a total of six SOLs passed with two English SOLs and one each in Math, Science, and Social Studies. One additional SOL must be earned. There are some changes with SOL participation, which your counselor will be discussing with you during academic advising. These requirements are for students who entered ninth grade in the fall of 2018, which is this current school year. For the Advanced Studies Diploma, you will also need at least 26 credits. You will need four credits in each of the core subject areas, English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, two credits in Health and PE, one credit in Economics and Personal Finance, and three credits of a world language. You may also take two years of two world languages, such as two years of Spanish and two years of French. You will also need one fine art or CTE class. For the standard diploma, you will also need a minimum of 22 credits with four credits in English, three in math, science, and social studies, two credits in health and PE, and world language is not required. You will need two of your total credits in either fine arts, CTE, or world language, and one of the two needs to be in fine arts or CTE. Students earning the standard diploma will also need one credit in economics and personal finance. Both diploma types for students entering ninth grade in fall 2018 and beyond require sequential electives, which are two electives in the same area. For the advanced studies diploma, world language no longer counts as this requirement unless you move on to the fourth and fifth year of a language. Both diplomas require passing a CT credential through an exam offered in economics and personal finance or a CTE course, or taking an advanced course during high school. Both diplomas require a virtual experience, which is embedded in the economics and personal finance course taught in Princeton County. And both diplomas require students to achieve the CPR requirement that is given through your health and PE class in Princeton County. The SOL requirements are the same for both diplomas when entering high school this year. Students will need five SOLs, reading, writing, one math, one science, and one social studies for a total of five SOLs. In your academic advising packet, you will have a worksheet for both the advanced or standard diploma. 
Be sure to write on the correct side based on when you entered ninth grade. We highly encourage you to work through this sheet to help you best determine what classes you would like to take in the future. You will also have a draft course selection form similar to the one you will be filling out when you meet with your counselor. This is a sample course selection form for 2019-20. It is recommended you complete this form and bring it to your academic advising session. We are planning to offer several courses we didn't run this year, including AP European History, Speech Communication, Game Design and Development, Fashion Marketing, Business Law, Teachers for Tomorrow, and AP Computer Science A. You will need to select seven courses to take and three alternate courses in case your first choice becomes unavailable or your schedule has a conflict. The course catalog can be found on the Colgan Counseling website or on the Prince William County website. If you do not have access to the internet, please let the counseling office know and we can provide you with a paper copy. Please review the catalog as it has other valuable information not specific to academic advising. Students can also visit the coursesnapshot.com website to view short clips of students discussing courses offered here at Colgan High School. Please take a moment to review the academic advising process. We ask that all students with their parent or guardian review the graduation requirements, complete their academic advising worksheet by selecting courses, and view the coursesnapshots.com website. Through their English class, students will begin to meet with their school counselor to develop their course selections beginning February 6th through March 15th. The counseling department will begin with the rising seniors. After reviewing their course selection sheet with their counselor, students will return a copy of the course request and any changes with a parent or guardian signature by March 20th. During the month of April and May, students have the opportunity to meet with their counselors to modify any course requests. Course selections will be mailed home at the end of May for review and final changes. Please note, June 7th is the last day to request a change in any course selections. In July, students will be placed in alternate courses for classes that did not meet minimum enrollment or that are full. Questions on academic advising should be addressed to your student's counselor. Please take a moment to review the counselor caseload. The counseling department looks forward to meeting all students during academic advising in the coming weeks.